Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with... Jen Buell with Plaza Lane Optometry. Nice. So thank you for coming here and doing the interview with me. You're welcome. How long have you been in optometry for? I have been in practice for five years. Okay. And then how about, how long did you like... Did it take you to like go to school and everything to get your degree or? Uh-huh, yep. okay, yeah. I went to UC Santa Cruz for my undergrad. Oh, cool. And once I got my bachelor's degree, I took three years off, went back to school for four years, mm -hmm. uh, which is optometry school. And um, here I am. So you're from Santa Cruz? I'm not. I'm no. from a little town called Jackson, California. Where is Jackson, California? It is between Sacramento and Lake Tahoe. Oh, really? Foothills. Got, so when did you move to Santa Cruz? Uh, well, I loved it when I did my undergrad here. Mm -hmm. And so when I finished optometry school, my husband and I, which we met working at Cafe Brazil. In oh, really? Undergrad, okay. We were trying to figure out where to call home. Mm -hmm. And Santa Cruz was just an awesome place to be originally. And we wanted to be close to the surf. And so we decided to come back. So we moved back here in 2013. That's so funny. That is such a common story. Of like people that have been here and they're like, you know what? It felt like home. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and that's why people keep moving here. Um, <laughs> so what was it about people's eyes? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was it? Like, when you were a little kid, when you look in people's eyes and like, oh, you have beautiful eyes. No, no. What was it that got excited, you, excited about this profession? Uh, I wish I had a really fun story <laughs> to tell you. I honestly had never thought about yeah. healthcare or being an eye doctor ever until okay. I was in my second year of undergrad. Okay. I had originally gone to college for political science, thinking I wanted to do international relations and Very different. travel the world, yeah. being yeah. a translator or something. Oh, cool. Um, I knew whatever profession I went into, ultimately, I really yeah. wanted to be able to travel mm. and help people. Mm. So I ultimately hated political science, <laughs> and my optometrist was a really big role model for me. He yeah. always does, he still does, um, service trips to third world countries oh, wow. yearly with Lions Club. And I thought that was so cool. And he encouraged me to look into optometry as a profession because it's got flexible hours. I can have a career. If I want to have a family, I can. I can travel anywhere with it yeah. and help people. And so I thought that really ticked a lot of boxes for me and what I wanted and I totally changed my my major into biology and just took it from there wow yeah so when you wake up in the morning uh, what excites you about what you do I, mean, I know there's like there's this the normal job of stuff we all have uh -huh. like the stuff we have to do yeah. but like there must be something that keeps you doing what you do what mm -hmm. excites you about your job I love the personal interaction that I get okay. with people. I, I feel really lucky that I get to meet new people every mm. single day yeah. and spend, you know, 30 minutes or more in an intimate setting getting to learn about them, mm. what they do, what, where they struggle, and create a solution plan for them. That's the thing, like you're actually help, you're really helping them, their day-to-day -day life. You have such a big impact. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I, I can honestly say that I look forward to going to work every day. Nice. Good. So you're at work, good. you're enjoying yourself. Um, what is like a, a perfect client for you? Like who, when you're like, okay, I really, I know I can help these kind of, these people. Uh -huh. Like what, who are you looking for? <laughs> Anybody that can't see, right? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and actually you bring up, this brings up yeah. a really good point because when people think about optometry or eye care, they... I hear all the time where they've never gone to an optometrist or gotten their eyes checked because they don't have a problem. Yeah. Um, for me, I love to, I love prevention, preventative medicine and yeah. wellness. And if I can get people in early and make sure that their eyes are not only healthy and seen as well as possible, but also there's so much more to vision than just the clarity of your your okay. sight and it has to do with the comfort of your eyes how well they work together as a team so really i think that my target would be younger individuals getting kids in before they before start they school yeah, yeah. i see kids ideally before they turn one for their very first oh, really? eye exams okay. i see babies mm -hmm. um and that's all like general yeah. wellness exam stuff, preventative. Mm -hmm. But 
I also really enjoy the challenge of dealing with eye disease um, and eye infections. And <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing eye infections. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually, but it's because those people are in so much discomfort that you really get to impact them. Yeah, um, by helping treat them, yeah. um, or if they have a foreign body, removing that for them. So I. So I, you, you I, removed foreign bodies from eyes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Man, that creeps me out. Oh, man. <laughs> um, so, so I'm going to put you on the spot here. What should we be doing? Besides, like, getting our, no, booking our appointment with you, but, like, what can we do on a day to day basis to help our eyes out? Like, what are we doing that are straining our eyes or, like, something we should do on a normal day to day basis? Good question, okay. Matthew. <laughs> uh, so, taking care of your eye health starts with. Your eating carrots, right? <laughs> carrots are great. <laughs> Whole foods, yeah. eating green leafy vegetables, right. eggs. It's really about getting a good diet, exercising, not smoking. And I hate to say it, but all the screen time that we're yeah. doing is brutal. Yeah. And trying to get off the screen, get outside, be active. Um, for all these people who have to spend hours on a computer a day, taking your 20 minute for a 20 second break every 20 minutes. Okay. Go look 20 feet away, give your eyes a rest. Oh, that's a good tip. Okay, you heard it here. Yeah. <laughs> so, the 20 20 20 rule. 20 20 20, yeah. How are your eyes? I have, <laughs> I'm not wearing contacts. Okay. I actually am slightly nearsighted. Okay. So I live in prescription sunglasses mostly. Okay but everything around here is perfectly clear. So I usually just wear glasses as needed. Okay. Yep. So if somebody quite says, okay, now I, I gotta do it. I gotta you know, start being preventative. I need it, or I do have an issue. Um, where do they find you? Uh, my business is located downtown, uh, across from Zockley's and Verve on Pacific Avenue, 1537 Pacific Avenue. Um, and we're there Monday through Saturday. Shit, is it? Is it okay for people just to walk in, or to, they should they call for an appointment? Do they go online to uh, like how do? What's the best way you suggest they do? It's best to make an appointment. Okay. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on um, Yelp or PlazaLineOptometry.com. It's best if you've never seen us before to call and to make an appointment, okay. so we can figure out all your insurance details um, and make sure you're ready to roll for your eye exam. Okay. If you want to walk in, we have an incredibly beautiful selection of glasses, so you can come in anytime for that. Nice. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Can you? I have this eye issue. Can you like help look at <laughs> it? Oh, boy, yeah. that doesn't look yeah, so okay. good. <laughs>